Welcome into the Gateman pregame show, everybody. Presented by South Coast Health, Jacob Toby alongside Connor Federico and Sam Corman. Just want to shout out the law enforcement real quickly here. Thanks, guys, for being so cooperative and so helpful as uh, you know the Gateman come back from the situation this morning. Everyone's safe. We're all good. Now it's time for baseball. Sam Corman, we'll start with you. 23 innings the past two days for the Wareham Gateman, which results in a tie and a loss. How does that affect the team? Well, it's it's pretty tough because because you know the game in Falmouth on on Saturday it was not only a 12 inning game; it just lasted forever. It was a nine run aside game. It was nine nine final, and when that happens, you know it's just where is the guys down? Where is your pitching staff down in particular? The last two days, almost the entire pitching staff has thrown, with the exception of today's starter Griffin Roberts, which we'll get to later. Will Neely, Jordan Britton have also not thrown in these last two days, so the pitching staff is pretty thin for the Gateman. So. It's really important that you know the starter Griffin Roberts, you know, can can handle his stuff today, and um, you know the team's pretty worn down, and, and not a lot of off days in these next few weeks either. So, um, but Chatham's only played you know seven less innings than than the Gatemen have in these last two days. So you know it's just the grind of the Cape Cod baseball that gets part of it. So I don't think it's going to be a, a too big of a deal, but it could you know play a toll on the pitching staff later in the game. Obviously, the next off day for the Wareham Gateman, not till J July 18th. Let's, uh, let's talk about the pitching matchup now. As you mentioned, the pitchers first for the Chatham Anglers. Well, it's going to be Austin Bergner today, who has a mid-90s fastball out of the University of North Carolina, the Tar Heel, and he had a very good season for the Tar Heels. He's come here to Cape Cod, had a very good start last week against the YD Red Sox, that mid-90s fastball, and then he can change it up with the, on you with both a changeup and a curveball. Both of those pitches have a bit of action on them, the curveball obviously more so but uh, it's got a real good diving action, the Gateman, this is their first time seeing him this summer and we're looking forward to it. Griffin Roberts for the Wareham Gateman. Yeah, Griffin Roberts, that slider coming back into play today after his big July July 4th um, game against the Bourne Braves was a pretty impressive performance but then even more impressive was his performance before that when he struck out, I believe it was the first you know six batters of the game and you know, he's just been unbelievable this season. I think he'll continue to do that with that slider and, you know, mixing his fastball in there as well. So if he can get that slider, especially against the righty batters today where it kind of jams inside of them and then comes back into the inside corner of the strike zone, I think he'll be in good shape. Also, not only the starting pitcher for today, but Jordan Britton is definitely expected to pitch because he hasn't in these past two days. I expect another good um, outing out of him after he pitched in Bourne last week and, um, you know, he comes in here, it's only a second outing from Oregon State, and the lefty, I think his curveball will, will bring a lot to the Gateman back end of the bullpen. In a, in a game, it's really important for the pitching staff because of how worn down they might be. Keep you hot on the mic, Sam. Tell me who you're watching tonight from the Chatham lineup. Yeah, I'm watching Josh Shaw, the St. John's player out of or out of St. John's for uh, the Chatham Anglers. He's he's hitting over three, he's hitting 320 this season so far in the uh, Eastern Division, and a Big East freshman of the year back in uh, 2016. I know you're a big fan of the Big East. He hit 300 <laughs> that season for the, for the St. John's Red Storm. So Josh Shaw definitely got to look out for. He's had a really productive season for Chatham in a, in a season where the Anglers have really struggled to score runs in general. Um, we saw them explode against the Gateman pitching staff in a doubleheader earlier this season, but since then it hasn't been you know the prettiest for the, for the Chatham Anglers. They're, they're sitting fourth in the in the uh, East Division right now. So I think. Uh, it's a bit, all these games are very important for both teams, but for Chatham especially to climb back up in that really tough East. A couple of fourth-place teams playing tonight, the Chatham Anglers, the Wareham Gateman. Gateman winless in their last two. How do they do it tonight? How can they win? Well, I think the key to the game for the Gateman tonight, guys, it's just simply confidence. You know, the Gateman, they're 0-2 against the Chatham Anglers this season, dating back to that Sunday doubleheader the first week of the summer back in June, and you haven't won in your last two. You could say that you blew a couple of games that you might have been able to win. The, the Gateman could have been 2-0 just as easily as they are 0-1-1 in their last two games. Previously had swept a home-and-home -home with the Bourne Braves, so that shows their confidence, that shows they know they have the ability to do it, and they have to come out against Austin Bergner early tonight, and they have to show that they have those great swings, the great pop in the bat. They can get the job done. All they have to do is just beat their own minds. Anglers versus the G-Men tonight here at Spol Lane Field. That'll wrap it up for us. For Sam Corman, Connor Federico, I'm Jacob Toby. Thanks for watching the Gateman pregame show presented by South Coast Health.